<laughs> Gaffer, here we go again. A bit of snow around doesn't make preparation any easier. How are you going to sort of train and find a spot this morning? Yeah, we, we'll have to um, get the grounds and just try and clear the 3G and, and go on there. I think not many players like being on there, but needs must and we've, we've got to get something in our legs ready for the game tomorrow and um, positives that there's four or five illnesses returning this morning and we'll monitor those to see where they're at yeah lots of bodies around the training ground which is good sign including i've just seen rico coming in he's gradually on his way back i mean yeah i know he's not even thinking about football at the minute probably but. no for us it's just a slow process of rebuilding him um he lost almost a stone in, in less than a week which isn't good um, so we need to get that weight back on him and then we need to build up the physical capabilities and, and how much his lungs can cope with those, you know, the exercise. Um, as I said, it's, it's going to be a slow process. So we'll um, obviously take our time and see where he's at. The squad was stretched on Saturday. We could see that obviously from the bench yeah. that he had to name. But as you say, hopefully one or two back from illness and just to strengthen your hand a little bit. Yeah, Kieran sadly is back. Aaron Morley is back. Owen Beck's back. Declan John's back. So... Hopefully, as I said, we've had no one else go down over the weekend, which is, is a positive sign, really. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can keep everybody in, in kind of one piece now. I think it's um, going to be a difficult game, a challenging game. Last week was a really tough week for many reasons, the way the game ended on Saturday. Obviously, the week and what happened with Rico and, and the illness and injury that we had in that week it made things very difficult for us um, but yeah reset regroup go again yeah I suppose that's a key frustration Saturday you probably felt you didn't get what you deserved but it is reset it's a refocus no. different, different competition and go again look I think um, you know we had our noses bloodied on Saturday we, we did a lot right for 75 minutes considering what we'd been through that week I thought it was a, a decent performance away from home we were comfortable it didn't look like they were ever going to score only set plays really and we just didn't do the basics well enough which is unlike us I think it's the first time <laughs> since we've been ahead or, or scored the first goal since Exeter in the promotion season that, that we'd lost the game we'd been in front in which is a good record and, and one we're very proud of but that's gone now and we have to work very hard to, to rebuild another record Yeah, you've made no secret of the fact you always take this competition seriously you yeah. like this competition because of the carrot at the end so that, that'll be the case again on Tuesday night It's a massive carrot at the end and it's a great opportunity for us to, to progress to the next round um, we're not taking it lightly at all we think they're going to be a really good team a technical team obviously one of the big clubs in the country in the world so they're going to have the best young players um, so we know technically they're going to be good but physically we should have the advantage and, and mentally in our experience we should have the advantage also so yeah we have to take it very seriously and, and hopefully progress mm -hmm. and only two steps then from Wembley yeah, Does it make it harder to plan against under 21 side when you perhaps won't know exactly who's going to play you've seen obviously they played in this competition you sort of know their squad but yeah no, I mean not it was easy no, but I think the work we do recruitment-wise on PL2 and, and the young Premier League teams, um, we pretty much know every player anyway, so we'll be well, you know, um, we know exactly who to expect to play against, we know exactly what their each individual player looks like, strengths, weaknesses, just from our recruitment database, and then we'll work hard on, on what they do. We, we think we know what system they'll play, Manchester United tend to, you know, play from first team down it's the same system so we know what to expect it's just really how we execute our game plan because of how you view this competition and because you want to go all the way and you always pick strong sides presumably again the case tomorrow Look, we'll be picking the strongest available team to try and win the game it's as simple as that and just lastly if you could take this into new year put it away hopefully get a win it's, it's a nice thing to look forward to in new year Fire, yeah exactly keep firing on two fronts and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to win as many games as possible and this gives us another chance to do that